Okay, last video we draped. This video we are going to go ahead and cut out our pattern pieces and transfer it over to paper at our half inch seam allowance and then take the next step. We have two pattern pieces. One will be cut on the fold and that will be our front piece. The other one will be our side panels and we will cut two of pattern pieces number two. Do not forget to transfer your notches because this tells you where your pattern pieces are supposed to be connected to the other pattern piece so you won't be confused. Don't forget this important step. Make sure you grab yourself a curved ruler. If you do not have one, you should go cop one because you need it for sewing. It helps make those curved pieces better. Here is where you add your half inch seam allowance. We're going to do this to both pattern pieces. is we're going to draft the peplum okay so you're going to take your waist measurement whatever your waist size is and that's at the bend fold point when you bend over, fold over when you bend sideways rather. <laughs> and you're going to take your waist measurement and divide it by three whatever that answer is you're then going to subtract it from 0.5 my measurement is nine so what I am going to do I'm going to go to my draft paper I'm going to start from the corner and I'm going to go down and I'm going to mark nine right there then what I'm going to do I'm going to key I'm just going to pivot the make the nine in a complete circle just pivot all the way around <laughs> All right, so now we have our where we marked our nine all the way down, did our pivot. We can go ahead and connect it. If, and I want my peplum to come down uh, eight inches. So I'm gonna go down from that line that I made, the, from that line, the first line I made, I'm gonna do eight inches because it's too long, I can always shorten it. Then I'm gonna mark eight all the way across following that line, but this time, we can just follow this line instead of doing the pivot like we did in the corner. Okay. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. This right here is my peplum. This and then for the back piece, I can just turn it over and get back piece. I'll show you guys. I'm going to make straps. I'm going to make mine at least two inches wide and about 10 inches long. You can. I'm going to have to adjust these as I go along because I have to know the perfect fit. But for right now, that's what I'm going to start with. And then I'm just going to fold my paper over at the two inch mark and just keep folding it till I can get my eight straps, at least eight of them. I'll go ahead and mark them and then get ready to transfer them over to the permanent fa uh, fabric. Okay, here we have our straps that, straps that we made from the muslin. I'm going to put them on the the permanent fabric I've marked them which strap is where and the notches where they need to connect so I'm going to go ahead and cut these out 
And then we're gonna move along to our next step. All my pattern pieces are in place. I have this one right here is the peplum. This is the front of the um, top and this is the side. So what I'm gonna do is, I need to cut two, two of these. So this one I'm cutting on the fold and I turned it upside down. Backwards so everything is going the same way. And then this is my peplum. When I'm done with this. I'm just gonna flip it over and cut two, and that'll be for my back, my back side. All right, I'm going to get to cutting. Okay, all my pattern pieces are cut out, but this white fabric is a little transparent, so I'm gonna add a lining to the front so that you can't see through. Okay, on this part, I'm going to add the lining, to, well, cut out the lining for the shirt. I have a knit stretch lining. Okay, I'm going to adjust a little as I'm going. When I turned these inside out, they were a little too thin for my taste and they didn't look like um, what the look I was trying to go for. So what I'm going to do is cut each strap. I'm going to open each strap back up and what I did was I cut another piece and then I turned them inside out so that I can get that thickness I wanted. So I'm gonna cut another piece to match this. Then I'm gonna sew them with the right sides together. I'm gonna put my presser foot right there on the end. And then I'm gonna turn them inside out. How I did it, so what I did was I have sewn each one of these down, right sides together. So now I'm gonna turn them Make sure I wipe my hands. I did not want to smudge this thing. It's dirty. So, oof. Stick a pan in there. Then I'm going to just. Oh, voila. Alright. So, going to do each to press them out. What I'm, my next step is to go ahead and sew the um, the lining down to the uh, fabric. The mark where the straps should go, I put pins. So what I'm gonna do is take my straps and put them inside. Push it down and even it up. Then I will. Then I am going to pin it in. Same thing with the other side. Pin it. So straps are on the inside. So when I sew it down, boom! There are my straps. I'm gonna go ahead and add my side pieces and, and pin those down and get ready to attach them to the front of the pedal. I am going to do a stay stitch. I'm going to open it up and then I'm gonna put my presser foot on just on the seam and then I'm gonna sew that lining right down to that seam so that it won't lift up when it's worn. Time to sew on side panels. Okay, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to cut a little bit of those corners off because I want it to curve along with my peplum. So I'm just gonna snip a little bit of that off and then sew on my peplum. Cut it right along with the curve of the peplum. Just snip, snip, and take it right on off. Don't be scared. Fold the top over and make sure both bottom edges match each other.
Now let's pin on the peplum. So what we're gonna do is turn the peplum upside down, the right sides together, facing the top. And then we're just gonna pin it together. Okay, we are working with a stretch knit. So I'm gonna attach some hook and eyes to make those straps fit together. But first I'm gonna add a stabilizer. Um, this stabilizer is activated by the heat, so I'm going to press it down and then attach my hook and eyes. I have put my hook and eyes on the back. Back of it is all hooked up, so now I'm going to connect my straps. So what I'm going to do is pin them in place. And then I'm going to hand stitch these in place then dress form a little differently than it fits me and that's okay because i'm gonna try it on as i go then i'm gonna go ahead once i get these in place hand stitch these by um by hand then i'm gonna go ahead and put my zipper in i accidentally deleted the footage of the zipper zipper is installed all right, now we are ready for our next step. What I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and surge all the way along here so I can take off that excess fabric so it won't stick out through the front. So I'm going to go ahead and surge all the way across there. I surge that whole seam line. Okay, you want to make sure that zipper is going to be outward you want to make sure you turn it inward actually i'm actually first before i do this um fold this over just gonna fold the top of this over and just about a half an inch just to neaten it up and then i'm gonna do a stitch right on top and tack it right on down then for the bottom then i'm gonna do a top stitching and to hold that zipper in place. I'll be back to show you guys. Going ahead and iron and pressed out that entire bottom part of the peplum. And it'll make it a lot easier for me to go ahead and just sew it down. So now we are, okay, it's all pinned in place, top and the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and take it over to the machine and put my press foot right on the end of it and stitch it down. Our next step is to go ahead and do a little top stitching and tack that zipper down in place. Okay, good people, we are finally finished. Yes, honey. All right, we are finished. We have that zipper put in place on neat and we are in business. I basically put my presser foot on the end of the zipper, the coily part, and I just, and that's how I got that. Then right here, I did the same thing, put my presser foot right on the end, and we have a nice, neat finish. Inside looks nice and neat. So the next step is to show you guys how it looks on. I think I'm gonna create a little mini skirt to go with it, then I'll, show you guys up next what it looks like on yay hope you guys like it subscribe to my channel and hit the like button see you guys on the next project bye